Hey there folks, before this video gets started I want to direct you to a YouTube channel called Katie of the Night. There's going to be a link in the description of this video to Katie and I talking about the giallo genre and the book I wrote called Giallo Meltdown, a Moviethon Diary. Please check it out and check out Katie's channel, it's super cool. She's an awesome metalhead, giallo explorer, film reviewer, filmmaker, actress, just all around great person. So please check out that and let's get on to the video about little boxes with little discs. Hey there folks, this is Richard of DoomedMovieThon.com back with another episode of My Horror Shelfie. My Horror Shelfie is a series where I talk about every single horror movie on my horror movie shelves from A to Z. Because videos bring you joy, thank you, and you're welcome, towards me. And I am here to wrap up my giallo talking. That's right, this is part five and the final part of my, uh, you know, talking about Giallo movies in my collection. In this video, I'm going to talk about the box sets of the Giallo variety, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's proceed. First up is an absolute classic. Um, I talked about this one in a previous video. Uh, when I finish a letter of the alphabet, I do a box set special, and at some point I finished a letter. I remember those days. Those were good days. And I talked about uh, the Giallo collection from Anchor Bay. This is the original uh, Giallo box set that I owned uh, from back in the day where I got introduced to uh, the Bloodstained Shadow, which is my vacation Giallo. I love to take this uh, on vacation with me and a DVD player and a cool HDMI cable and uh, hook up a DVD player to the uh, TV in the, in the hotel room and watch Bloodstained Shadow. It's been a tradition for when my wife and I go on vacation to bring that movie. Obviously, if we're flying somewhere, I don't bring that movie, but <laughs> or a DVD player. Uh, Short Night of Glass Dolls is um, it's a yellow movie, and it's sort of my least favorite in the set. Um, it's not a bad movie at all. In fact, it's a great film. It's just that um, I don't reach for it as often, uh, but it's very good. And of course, Who Saw Her Die is legend. Uh, great Ennio Morricone score. Excellent. Uh, George Lazenby. Love him to pieces. And of course, um, The Case of the Bloody Iris, which still waiting on a Blu-ray um, for Case of the Bloody Iris here in the States. I think there might be one for another country. I don't know. Love Case of the Bloody Iris. It's a movie I like to show to people who have never seen a giallo before. It's just something they need to see. And usually they get their uh, minds blown by it. So yeah. Isn't that pretty? Wow, classical. Okay, here's a twofer. You guys remember these? <laughs> Once upon a time, uh, speaking of Anchor Bay, they put out the Bava box and Bava 2. And uh, these have some Giallo films that uh, good old Mario Bava did. Uh, the first one is uh, The Girl Who Knew Too Much, which is an excellent one. Uh, black and white, beautiful, beautiful, funny movie. I really adore it very much. And on uh, the second box set here, I think this is the second one. Yeah, this is the second one. Uh, we have got that classic Giallo, Roy Colt and Winchester Jack. Five Dolls for an August Moon, which is a beautiful film. I really love that one. It's just really strange. Then you got my second favorite Bava, which is Bay of Blood. I really, really love Bay of Blood. It's an excellent Giallo. And I keep wanting to call Four Times That Night a Giallo, but it's only because of the title. <laughs> Four Murders That Night. But it's not murders. It's sexy, funny comedy. This has only one Giallo in it, but it is a box set. And of course, it's uh, Delirium. Oh, there we go. Delirium, Photos of Gioia, which uh, we covered not too long ago on Hello, This is the Doom Show. Very silly giallo from our pal uh, Lamberto Bava, a.k.a. Lamb Bava, as we like to call him. But this is the Shriek Show Psycho Killer box set. Wow. Can you imagine DVDs? Okay. 
Here's some more tenuous giallo material coming here. Uh, the Paul Nashi collections. If you aren't down with Paul Nashi, I highly recommend you get down with Paul Nashi. Um, just a great, great force in the Spanish film industry. Um, I love him. He did horror. He did thrillers. He did sci-fi. Um, he did all kinds of genres, like um, political films, religious films. Like, he was really cool. And religious films, like, you know, critical of the Catholic Church kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. But in Paul Nashi Collection 1, um, it has Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll, which is an excellent giallo with some very unfortunate animal violence in it. Um, a pig does not survive the film. Not good. Um, it's it's gratuitous, and they just kill a pig, and they let you watch the whole thing, and it's really bad. And that's why I never reach for this film, even though I really love the other 99.5% of it. In Collection 2, we have got a Dragonfly for each corpse, which I've only seen one time, and I remember really liking it. I cannot wait uh, to jump back in and revisit that one. I don't know what I'm waiting for, <laughs> other than um, time to happen. Okay, let's keep moving here. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome, or as I like to call them, Vinegar Sandstorm. They put out the Camille Keaton in Italy box set, which is just the artwork on this box is so pretty. I love it. Um, shamefully, these are not opened yet. <laughs> Inside, I won't. I won't even talk about that. That's that's my that's my bad. I'm going to watch these. I'm a big fan of Tragic Ceremony, which is more horror than giallo, but it has some uh, mysterious elements to it. Tangentially, very super tangentially giallo. Um, then you got Sex of the Witch, which um, the Witch Witch is ranked by me as one of the worst gialli ever made. I'm really excited to reevaluate it on this set because. The only time I've seen it was on a crappy download, and it did not do that film any favors. But maybe, maybe, on uh, Nicely Restored by Vinegar Sandstorm, it'll be good. Or it'll still be terrible, we'll see. Get back to you on that someday in the future. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, this is the complete uh, Lindsay Baker Giallo collection. Now, a lot of people don't know this, is that Lindsay studied for many years um, as a baker to make fine yellow bread. And here's the loaf. No, the director, uh, Umberto Lenzi, was in love, or just smitten, with uh, the actress known as Carol Baker. And they made several films together. Uh, this set collects Orgasmo and A Quiet Place to Kill, which are the ones I mix up. There's also So Sweet, So Perverse, which I also mix up with either Orgasmo or A Quiet Place to Kill. Then there's Knife of Ice, which I never mix up with any of them, because uh, in Knife of Ice, Carol Baker plays a mute, and in one of the other three, uh, Carol Baker plays a race car driver, and then there's the ones that I can't really remember. And it's not like I don't remember the films, it's that I don't remember which one is called what. Is that forgetting the film, or is that just forgetting the title? But uh, yeah, this is a great set. I highly recommend you, you swipe this up. Uh, this is from good old Severin. Love Severin very much. Arrow. Arrow Video put out what I like to call the Giallo Essentials Collection, because that's what it's called. That's the title. And uh, I don't have the first one, because I had a lot of those Blu-rays already, but this one was uh, Smile Before Death, and The Weapon, The Hour, and The Motive, and The Killer Has Reserved Nine Seats. I really love The Killer Has Reserved Nine Seats. It's very sleazy sort of uh, supernatural strangeness. Maybe not sort of, it just is supernatural strangeness, but it's a great giallo. Smile Before Death, I've seen once and I barely remember it. I remember the theme song to that much better than the actual film. And I just rewatched Weapon, The Hour, and The Motive, which I still really l like and I really recommend, but there's something strange about the movie. It barely has any music in it. There are lots of films that have very minimal scores, uh, this has a piano piece that's in it. I think that's all of the music, is maybe this piano piece. If there's some, like, um, sort of, like, atmospheric, strange sounds, stuff like that, I can't recall. But it feels very sparse. And one of the things 
I know a lot of people love about Giallo is the scores, and this to have such a minimal uh, music soundtrack to it is like really odd. It just is really strange to me, but I like it. Would you like to meet our cat named Cheese before I move on to the next box set? This is Cheese. This is our new kitten. She is named after Cheese, the product, and the state of mind. Okay, I've got I've got a missing piece to this stack, but we'll talk about that, like, right now. This is the Forgotten Gialli set. Sets, plural. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome decided to do some Forgotten Gialli, and they pulled together a bunch of titles that had not been released on Blu-ray before, at least not here, in the good old um, Region A or whatever, I don't even know if these are region free, ask your local doctor. And I don't have all five of them. Um, So far, you know, at the time of this recording, there's only five. And I skipped volume four because it was the super sleazy one. Um, And I wasn't as interested in that box. But I want to get it just to complete the five. But we'll see. Maybe I will never do that. (laughs) I don't know. Anyway, first one um, has Trauma which is a really cool one, uh, directed by Leon Klamovsky of the uh, the Spanish Spain country, who directed a lot of um, Paul Nashi films. Really love Leon Klamovsky. Next up is, um, I believe, an Italian one called Police Are Blundering in the Dark, which is a very fun movie. It's not great, but it just has a weird energy to it that's fun. Um, there's some pseudoscience crapola in there that you need to see to believe. And another Spanish one I've never rated very highly called The Killer is One of the Thirteen. And part of the reason I didn't rate it very highly is the copy I used to have is an old bootleg that had a very, very uh, distinctly annoying high-pitched whining sound through the whole movie. And that doesn't help because that sound kind of set my teeth on edge. So in the back of my brain, I'm like, this movie better be good or there's going to be trouble. So my expectations were way too high. And as of yet, I have not revisited that film. I'm really excited, though, because, 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 all right, Forgotten Gialli Volume 2. This set has the uh, girl in Room 2A, which is a very silly slapdash kind of a movie. You just have to see it. It's really crazy. It uh, takes a lot of leaps in the narrative that are just wild. I recommend it. My Dear Killer is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, George Hilton doing the whole um, Agatha Christie thing. It just it has the whole, let's get all the suspects together in one room at the end and confront them. I love that part. Uh, but the movie has got some great set pieces. And it has a tone that is just so memorable and so beautiful. And of course, Mary Lou Tolo is in it. And you need all the films with Mary Lou Tolo. And not just because of her relationship with Dario Argento, but because she's frickin' cool and beautiful. The French Sex Murders is also in this set, and uh, The French Sex Murders is a very stupid movie, but I recommend it as well because it's so fun. It's just weird, and a lot of cool giallo people are in it. One unique aspect about good old French Sex Murders is that it has the money for a Humphrey Bogart impersonator, and that's like three movies worth of good stuff. And here we are, at the Forgotten Gialli Volume 3. Um, this has Autopsy, or as I call it, Aw, Topsy, with Mimsy Farmer, Ray Lovelock, um, some other people are in it too, and it is really sweaty and trashy, morbid, morbid stuff, and I love it. Autopsy is way up there in my favorites. I really, really enjoy it. Murder Mansion uh, is a Spanish Giallo, that I cannot recommend enough. It is freaking great. Lots of characters, lots of twists, and supernatural goings on. And you just, you have to see it. You have to see it. Murder Mansion used to be on all those budget compilations, so I'm looking forward to watching it in a nice restored edition. Thank you, Vinegar Sandstorm. And last but least, Crazy Desires of a Murderer. Um, very sleazy, but pretty fun. Um, I don't love that one, but it's, uh, absolutely worth a watch. Okay, finally, the end of my Giallo talk in here with frickin' Forgotten Gialli, number five, sorry, volume four, I don't own ya. We have the great 
uh, white dress for Marial. Um, I'm struggling to remember the other title for it. Spirits of Death? I might be mixing that up. Anyway, um, Supernatural, great stuff. Um, another awesome cast. You know, a secluded location, very gothic, uh, mysterious, mysterious stuff. Tropic of Cancer is a very interesting film. It's, uh, it's sleazy and it's sweaty rituals and some nice slaughterhouse footage. I guess that's not nice. That's just something that happens in the movie. But it's really good. It's a solid thriller and I really like it. And last but not least, uh, good old Nine Guests for a Crime, which I've only seen one time, but I remember finding it really eerie. Um, it's got a very dark tone to it hopelessness and nihilistic if I recall correctly and once again I just can't wait to see it restored because all I had was an old bootleg or a download or something that was okay but this should be really nice to uh, have a look see at so folks that is all of my giallo box there's an evil witch but she's nice so that is all of my giallo box sets um, and that is the end of the Giallo series of this frickin' um, what do you call it? Video series? I don't know. Thank you for watching, you guys. This has been fun. Um, I didn't realize that doing a Giallo series in my collection would take a whole five parts. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll go back to whatever letter I was doing beforehand in the horror movies. I literally cannot remember where I was. I might have just been in D, or maybe I was done. Maybe I already did Z, bro. I don't know. I'm not gonna look until I look. Giallo Meltdown, a Moviethon Diary is a book I wrote about uh, Giallo films. If this is the first time you've heard of it, good. If you'd like to know more information about Giallo, then call me.